I know that the information that we've covered in the past two shows has been a lot to digest. The learning curve for high definition TV is a little more than most of us originally expect. Now, if you didn't take notes and you need to review some of what we've covered, or if you just need more information, allow me to show you one outstanding resource. And if we go to Samsung's homepage and go into the product area, you can find their interactive guide to high definition. This is an outstanding resource that covers the entire world of high definition, from the technologies and all the things you need to know in making your decision, all the way through to Samsung's products, talking about the details of their products. But first, it gives you a real good education on the whole world of high definition, covering a lot of what we've covered, plus a lot more. If we start at the beginning, it tells you the things you need to know about getting started in high definition, how the direction of the industry is moving towards high definition, what you can watch, the types of products that are available in high definition. And each of these areas has an animation or an interactive piece as well as text supporting it, all the way through to a discussion of the type of quality that you can expect from high definition, and then basically looking at the difference between analog and digital TV. If you work your way through each of the sections, you just continue on to the next lesson down here in the bottom, and then we can continue to the second section, which is understanding the details of HD TV widescreen, what is a pixel, discussing the building blocks of high definition, the difference between standard definition and high definition. Now I know I covered it in the show already, but you might not have retained that or you might want more information. It's covered here. The difference between interlaced video and progressive scan video discussed in tremendous detail and contrast and color. Contrast ratio is a very important consideration when you go to purchase your set. Here you can be educated on it so you don't necessarily have to believe all the stuff that the person at the store is telling you. You'll have the facts before you go. And as we work our way down all of the different areas here on the left hand side, we see the main study areas listed across the top. We're in understanding HDTV. The next section along is HDTV choices so we can move ahead to there as well. Now if you go through this entire thing in tremendous detail, it will probably take you about 45 minutes to read through it all, but at the end of it, you will be so informed about the entire high definition world that you'll feel much more comfortable moving ahead with your decisions. Here we discussed fixed TVs versus scanned, tube TVs, micro display TVs, which is getting into the DLP technology, which we've discussed earlier, then how plasma TVs work, how LCD TVs work, and then rear projection and front projection. So you cover the entire gamut of different options you have for setting up your high definition system. And then one of the most important sections, choosing the right HDTV for you. And it discusses budget, which is a big consideration. And I think one of the most important is choosing the right size. I think that a lot of people, when they're shopping for their high def TV, walk into the store and say to the sales clerk, I'd like to buy a high def TV, please. And the sales clerk goes, Great, what size do you want? And you go, Ooh, size. I don't know. How big a screen can I get for this much money? which is really the wrong way to approach it. Instead, you should be considering how far back you're going to be sitting from the TV in the room and making the size decision based on the scale of your room. And they've got this great interactive planner that allows you to figure out how far back you're going to be sitting and choose the appropriate size TV for that distance, something you should definitely check out before you shop. Next up is the type of screen that you should be considering. And again, this deals with lighting issues in the room that you're going to be in, LCD versus DLP versus plasma. And also what you should be looking for, a tutorial on shopping in the store. And finally, the one that I find really valuable is how you get it connected, making sure you have the cabling options and that you understand all the cabling options. They've got a nice description here of how each of the cables fit and what they're for. Learning about high definition TV has been a blast for me. I love the technology and I really love the result on screen. Unfortunately, the level of understanding and high definition in the field is not quite up to snuff. So don't rely on the store clerk when you're making your high definition decision. We've covered all the basics for you and you also have some excellent online resources like this interactive tutorial. So do your research before shopping. After all, it is your money.